Hello, it's Sarah here from SH Millinery, and today we're going to make our own poupe head, or what is called a wig head, or a head block. I don't know. I'll try and think of all the other names they call it. But this, if you can't afford wooden head blocks and dolly blocks, and let's face it, they're not cheap, this is a good way of getting started with something you can pin and block to. Now, what we're using is a basic polystyrene head. Now, this one's had the bottom chopped off, but that doesn't matter. Now, the only thing about these polystyrene heads is they're great for display, putting your hats on, showing everyone what you've made, but they're useless for actually blocking on because they tend to have tiny heads, something like 20 or 21 or, yeah, so they've got tiny heads. It's fine if you're making children's hats, but not much good for anything else. So what you'll need for this is a polystyrene head, some heavyweight cardboard, you'll need some sellotape, wide, or duct tape, You'll need some glue, you'll need a protractor, a pencil, and something to cover the head in. Now I'm using two ounce wadding, but you can use Demet, you can use um, quilt batting, uh, which would probably actually be a bit better because it's a bit thicker than this, but that's what I've got available, so that's what we're using. Right, now first of all, put your head up the right way and look where the nose is and the back of the head mark a central, a central point. Now we've got to divide up the head. So put your thing on there. So we're going to go, that's the front, that's the back. And then we want to do um, sections. So we're going to go 90. And we're going to turn it around and do the, do the same the other way. I mean, you can do this by eye if you haven't got one of these lurking in the cupboard or in the kids' technical drawing box. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line. You've got to be quite good by eye here. Down the back. Down the side there. Now what we've got to do is cut pieces of the batting that will fit. Now the only reason I've divided it up is you can do strips and just put them on, but it, it gives you a better shape if you can actually shape it like you would do if you were making an outfit. So I'm going to line up uh, my back line. Ooh, this is where the pins come in. Line up my back line like that. You want to go down the head. You want to go quite far down. So line up the back like so. Pin in there. Pin in the back. And then we're going to have to work out where our other line was. But I've got the head here so I can see it's about there. Take the pins out. And I've got a sort of a triangle shape. So I'm going to cut that across. I like that. Now to make it fit, because obviously that isn't going to, that is going to have bulk here. So about halfway down, cut a V, like so. 
Now pin it on your head. See if it's going to work. Yep, yeah, might have to make the be be a bit longer or a bit bigger. A little bit just there, a bit wider. Now at the back of the head, there's less bulk than there is at the front because of the nose being on this. So you won't probably have to cut the V. So cut your next triangle. And hold it up against the head. Pin it at the top again. Sorry if I'm disappearing off the video. The trouble is I'm trying to hold it up against me. Right, so it'll be fine there. Not so good there. So we might have to just adjust. You can either cut a V in the middle again, or you can just cut off that pointy bit there. Okay. So I'm going to need two that shape and two that shape. So I'm going to carry on and cut those out and come back to you in a moment. Right, so I've cut, I've cut my initial shapes out. And um, what I'm going to do now... I'm going to try and adjust the camera so you can see at an angle. I'm going to glue and pin them onto here. So get some glue. I've just got fabric glue here. It's a bit runny. <laughs> it's a bit runny, this glue. Right, so we've, we've made a rough start. She looks a bit peculiar. <laughs> and what we've got to do now is uh, add some more. Now what I've done is this tends to come like that, but it can be split in two. So you've got thinner strips. So I'm going to use a strip for winding around here. that round her face like that and pull it tight so it's nice and firm and then I'm gonna overlap a bit come up she's gonna look like the mummy from hell Yeah, we're probably going to be about 22 and a half, which is what, what I want. But uh, it depends what wadding you're using, etc. 
Sit now the sellotape comes in. So. Oh. So folks, there she is. She doesn't look very elegant. So I've wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. You've got to pull the sellotape very tight um, so that it gives a nice smooth finish. And the bigger you make the cardboard base, the more stable she'll be. But I only had uh, those bits of cardboard to hand and so I've just used that. So if you made it bigger, it'd be even more stable. And uh, what you can do now is you can either cover it with paper mache or something pretty, but I'm going to experiment with covering it with a pair of tights just to make it look nicer. So I've got one leg of the pair of tights, the pantyhose. Let's see. And Let's cut it off around the base, but enough to stay on. Oops. If you want to make it more stable, you can add a weight to the bottom. You know, stick a few dressmakers weights in or something. I think it will be fine. See if I can do that over again. I'll cut the toe out, twist it round, twist it round. Let's go over. There we are. She looks a bit more presentable. I shall tidy her up a bit more later. Uh, perhaps get that over the edge again. So, there we are. So, you can use her now as a hat block. As I say, she won't last forever because obviously she's only styrofoam. Now, the good thing about this is you can use ordinary dressmaker's pins to block with because it's nice and easy to pin into. Won't last forever and, of course, you can make them different sizes. I've just measured this and this one, I did add quite a bit of wadding. So this one's come out at about... Oh, let me, let me measure her properly. Over her eyebrows and over her occipital bump at the back that I made her. Yeah, and she's 22 and a half. But you can make them as big or as small as you want to. And uh, I hope you found this fun. Another little project when you're starting out if you don't want to spend 30 quid on a... On a Poopy head. Okay, thanks very much folks. Bye.